the grieving sphere. You can make a thousand different kinds of spheres uh, to cover the different frequencies, uh, not just within us, but around us. Situations we're brought into. I'm having a hard time talking. My uh, tongue swollen up. This cirrhosis I have is driving me nuts. Anyway, so I might sound a little different. Anyway, um, the grieving sphere. Uh, when we lose a pet, an animal, uh, uh, another family member of, of any sort, uh, someone we have a very close relationship with, uh, those of us with heart energy, we understand that can be painful. And uh, recently, Deanne and I and our different family members, uh, they've had a lot of their animals leave. And uh, Deanna said, you know, I, I want to make a necklace for him. And uh, so what this sphere is, is something very similar. It's for grieving, but with a necklace, you wear it around your, your neck, your body. And, and Deanna's necklaces, it takes so long to make them because all the energy is put together just right. It's in the right size stone, putting out the right frequencies. They're all matched in order they're supposed to be, in order to flow, to work metaphysically. Um, because of the time entailed, picking out all the stones and the ability to do it, it's, the price of a necklace is going to go up. Now, uh, not like a sphere, but still more expensive. Um, the uh, spheres, uh, the nice thing about the necklace it is that you put it around your neck, so it's literally cir uh, uh, encircling your core energy, your core spirit, so and energy. So it has a soft, gradual effect with all of them. They're not near as strong as the stone, uh, all the stones that are put in a sphere, but they do um, uh, put that nice, soft energy in there as long as you're wearing the necklace. Now, these grieving spheres, they're much stronger. Um, I'm making them literally like a max power sphere, but I'm working on the heart. Um, I'm also doing things to the energy that will not allow it. Some people can feel these 10, 12 feet away, 14 foot away, depending on how sensitive you are, but they're made to be about four or five feet away from you. Okay, three to four would be better. If you work, if you're around the house, uh, sitting down, relaxing, watching TV, uh, moving, uh, you know, you got a, some cooking you want to do and you're kind of sad, you put one in there. But when you sleep, put it about three to four foot away from you, four to five foot away. And while you're sleeping, that'll be working on your heart, making it stronger, but also helping you deal with what you're going through. Emotional loss is uh, anything from terrifying to uh, nagging. So uh, there's a good reason to have made this before leaving for you. <clears throat> now, uh, I use strong star asinite, especially dragon egg star asinite in it. Uh, there's some selenite, there's some black obsidian, which really helps you deal with issues. Um, and that's one of the things that the energy goes into you, but it, it's, it's staying inside. Because it stays inside you and work helps you work with getting those emotions out. That cuts down on the uh, length uh, that it can be far away from you. Now, everyone's different. You might put it 20 foot away and feel it, okay? You might have to get it three foot away. Uh, but if you, I, if you have it three, four foot away, it's going to be working on you, whether you know it or not. And at night when you're sleeping, depending on how you're affected by it, you know, the way to adjust it, you move it farther away, closer. Um, but it'll be working on you, making you stronger, 
uh, literally clearing out um, all your energy fields uh, and your core energy, uh, what are called chakras, uh, and it'll be working on your heart. Okay, we have some very nice, strong <coughs> row tonight. Also, you're going to have, not like this, but you'll have some amethyst. Okay, some, some of the medium depth uh, amethyst. That's a little bit light, but uh, kind of medium compared to some of the stuff you get. This is darker. We don't use pieces this big, and you can see why. Um, what I do use is stuff like this. Amethyst plus... Um, I don't think you can see inside the crystals. I don't know. This is some beautiful triple A grade rhodonite. Let's see. I guess you can see that. That's beautiful stuff. That really helps the heart. And amethyst is a stone of uh, very strong. Uh, it's relative. It's its relativity is very strong in uh, the area of uh, spirit itself, knowledge, uh, getting into the uh, Akashic Records, which is what they call the Akashic Records. All it is is uh, information that's always available to you. You just think it and you can have it, okay? You don't have to pray for it. You don't have to meditate or anything. Just relax, open up and go into the field feeling what you want and then you get what you can and folks when you can't do something once or 20 times do it 21 just relax and feel it and you'll know it lots of times you'll get you'll be getting it you won't know it and then later on it pops right in it fits right in um this paradox was beautiful um <coughs> anyway um <coughs> Peridot is, uh, it's kind of thick and healing, but it's also light spiritually. So unless we know for a fact that you need to have that in there, we're going to have it uh, something darker, greener in there. Um, uh, I don't have any right here. We have some very, wait a minute. We have some garnet. That's very good for your core. Okay, helps you keep strong. Sometimes we put some dragonstone jasper in it. Okay, that helps you pull things together. Uh, a little bit of celestite for understanding. Uh, there's a few basic stones we put in there and then we add more depending on your personal needs, who you are. Um, when you buy a personal sphere, we put in what we know you need the best. The most. What will do you the most good and what your body really needs. Um, if, you give us a, if you give us an order for a pineal sphere, we'll make you a pineal sphere, but we're going to tailor it to you. Uh, Now, when you feel so, you, when you feel these things, now this here's some of the copper that goes in there. The sphere themselves, I'm doing something with this in a, one of the next videos. I have to hurry up and get some stuff done because it's you know, I gotta leave anyway. Uh, the, uh, when you go to feel it, first when the sphere is there, look at it, relax, and just let your mind go blank. If you were to focus on something and just let go of the focus to where you can't see, that's your mind being where it needs to be in order to see and feel stuff to use your abilities. So you relax, you look at it, go out of focus, 
and then just see where the field is. Okay, the field's coming out right here. Now that's a pineal sphere. Feels like a pineal sphere. Yes, this is a pineal sphere. Um, it's right around here. I can feel some of the different energies in it. When it's one of these other spheres, you'll be feeling it anywhere from here down to about here. But because you're grieving, you might get, so literally, you feel yourself being pulled right into it. Maybe even to grab it and hold it. Okay? That's because you need it. Your body knows you need it. You want to get as close as you can to it. Um, but if you have it near your bed and everything else, uh, when you're sleeping, I'm not going to tell you you're not going to have a bad dream. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that it'll help the hell out of you to keep you from having bad dreams. It'll help you deal with a loss of something that's so important to you. Um, but it's a power-up sphere. It's powerful. Um, if, if you had family together after you've lost a loved one, put it in the middle of the table. So uh, it'll help everyone. There's, there's not a limit to it. So. Well, folks, that's the grieving sphere.